What's going on, YouTube and YouTube that's out there in YouTube land? Today is June 30th, 2018, and it's been a few months since I actually did this. I'm a little rusty, so bear with me. Um, just want to let you know that I'm still here. I have promised umpteen times to make more videos, and I just haven't gone off my butt to do it. And someone actually sent me a, a message from one of my old videos the other day and said, you know what, make more videos. And I said that before, I keep repeating myself, but I just, I just don't have the time, unfortunately. Um, you know, three kids playing sports and co help coaching and just the trial of work and just trying to get everything done. So, I finally got off my butt to do it and because I, tonight, took a bin of about three months of mail that I opened, looked in it, put them back in the envelope and throw them into a bin and I just spent the last maybe three and a half hours recording everything, two and a half hours, something like that, trying to record everything and I had my computer, I brought it upstairs out of my office and I was recording stuff and I was kept hitting the save and all of a sudden my computer died. It just, the battery sucks on this thing, it's so old and it just died. So I don't know what got recorded and what didn't, so I'm like, screw it, I don't even care. I got it all here, but I just have an absolute piles of a mess on my desk right now. I'm just looking at it. Of stuff that I just recorded that it's been sitting around, other things just been sitting here. And I just, I gotta get organized. This is just driving me freaking nuts. So, I'm gonna show off a few things. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna start. I mean, already two minutes in and I'm ready to be like, with everything. Alright, um, I do want to start off with something that I really liked. Uh, a few months ago I went to a show and one of the guys there was, I don't know if I did these. I don't know if I did them last, but we'll find out. Uh, Bruce the Barber Beefcake was signing. So he signed that one. Um, uh, Gary Cheever's Hockey Hall of Fame was also there. He signed a big mask picture for me. And I had the chance to meet the Mighty Duck guys. And I'm really thinking I did this in my last video, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, these guys were the best guys ever. It was six guys from the movies, and they were the nicest guys. And it stunk was that not a lot of people were getting them. Um, I bought my, and I pre-ordered my tickets, and I had like, Ticket like five. So, once they were signing, they had a mini line, but it just went away really fast. And the best part was they gave you a, a mega ticket that had all si six of them on there, and they would stamp and click every time you got them. First time through the line, they didn't even touch my ticket. So I was like, huh, eh, let me see what else I can get signed. And I went through the line again, <laughs> kind of double dip. But, um, and the guys were walking around too. So, they would walk around, my, I had two of my oldest with me, and they said, hey, can I grab a picture with you guys? And they're like, yeah, I don't care, we're not doing anything. One guy joked around, him, he was leaving to get coffee, and I said, can you grab me one? He goes, yeah, sure. And I'm like, no, I'm okay, you don't have to. But, um, nicest guys, like, honestly, once you got up there, they were just were talking and talking. And I, oh, oh, yeah, that Mighty Duck, Jonathan um, Banks signed the Mighty Ducks. Yeah, no, not Jonathan Banks. Um kid that played Banks in the movie. That's his uniform, 99. So I had him sign it with a couple of inscriptions. But um, the other guys were there were Avelman. Sign that one. Uh, um, the captain of the Icelandic team. I had him put, uh, good work, Captain Duck. That was his line from the movie. Uh, Avelman asked if I want anything inscribed. I said, just can you put Avelman? He goes, how about quack quack? And I was like, okay. I don't care. So he put that in there. Uh, let's see. This kid was there. He's in Mighty Ducks. He's also in the Sandlot. I think this is one of the other things I got and it's not through. Uh, Sandlot picture. I actually had him sign a baseball too with the inscription from the Sandlot because I would like to get a bunch of the kids on baseballs from the Sandlot. Uh, Guy from the movie. I forget what you put. Oreo something. Oreo something. And that one. 
And they had very limited pitches of what they had. Uh, this is carp on this one. And I should have went through and got Evelman on it too, but, you know, I didn't. And this is a picture from uh, the kid from the Mighty Ducks. And I got a picture signed by Brutus too. While I was there. And these are just a couple of pitches that I, that the promoter is really nice there. He does a really good job and he always has a, um, a table set up of past signers. So each thing, it says, to get this guy, uh, five bucks, red kite, two time NBA champ. This was five bucks. He had both of these, Paul Stewart and Terry O'Reilly, ready to face off. Uh, Ted Karnas, again, five bucks. This is Super Bowl SBLI champs. These are all past people that had signed, um, Basketball Hall of Fame, Adrian Dentley. Again, five bucks. Can't go wrong. I just like this picture because you have the trophy. Mark Edwards. So again, past signers. I think they were signing for like 15, 10, 15 bucks. Yeah, but he had all the pictures already signed for five. I was like, eh, I'll dive right in. Alright, so I really, again, don't know. We're already six minutes freaking in and I barely touched anything. Alright, let me this time do non sports, I guess. Just do those and then I'll try and do a baseball because um, baseball alone is this, that pile, and this. So I got way too much crap up there. So, all right, let's do non-sports. Jonathan Banks, this one was in my head from Breaking Bad. Mike from Breaking Bad signed three of three. All personalized. This one came out really junky and silver, but anywho. This kid, I sent back in March, I got him in June, and he ended up sending me this letter, and a little on the back. This is an address I had tracked down, and I, I don't, don't ask me, please don't ask me why I have these cards, but American Idol cards, I don't know where I picked them up, I probably just got them someplace. This is Erskine Wellcock, Cock, Cock, yeah. Um, I sent to him out in Las Vegas. It says Y on the bottom, but he presides in Las Vegas. He sent me that long letter, and he told me, anytime I'm in Vegas, look, um, look him up, he'll hook me up out there. So, I'm having in on Vegas now. All right, Matt Stoney. He is a champion uh, hot dog eating champ. He signed that one, and he sent me... Oh, okay. cute. This note saying he's apologized for the re, uh, late um, reply, and he signed, sent this one to. So he sent me two of those, apologizing for taking so long. Next, professional surfer Damien Hoggood signed my mini, signed that one, and he signed that one. He does have a twin brother that I looked up his address, or I kind of tracked it down, and it's the same address as his brother. I asked him to, if his brother was walking around, if he could sign it, and it came back unsigned. So the name of his brother wasn't there. Uh, NASCAR. All right. I know I said non-sports, but this is my pile. Olympic figure skater Scott Hamilton signed 202. And sur professional surfers are athletes too. This is an address I had actually tracked down. I couldn't find it anywhere, and it took me a little time, but I did find it. Casey Keller, a uh, professional soccer player, retired. He lives out in Washington State now. This was a project I did about a year ago. This one actually came in. I don't know why this guy took about a year to sign. He's a professional bowler. I don't know if it's been a year, maybe two. And he signed three of three. The bowler. Why did it take a year to sign? All right. Sam Hornison Jr., NASCAR, and that one. Olympian Kim Craig for water polo. That one took about two years actually to come in too. Yeah, sixteen. Yep. Jamie McMurray, NASCAR, signed two or two. This is gonna be good. I can actually get this stuff for the way. 
Next, Rocker, Tommy Lee. I've been seeing everyone in the mother getting him in, and I got him at the same time. Mine got a little smudged on the Lee part at the very end. So I don't know if he was just doing all his meal at once, meal at all once, or whatnot, but uh, Star Tiger had everyone, him listed, coming back to war. This is presidential governor of Ohio. I think he ran. He was going to run for president, but John Kernish, he signed the back. That's him on the front. He actually signed the back, which I didn't realize. I had opened this envelope and went, huh, he didn't sign. I went to go log this in tonight, and I turned it over, and I saw it on the back. So, he's back there. Next, I actually, e Twitter, I sent her a Twitter message and asked, hey, can I send you, I have your card. She said, sure, here's the address. I think it's the MLB network. Alexander Dat. Alexa Dat. Sorry. Sign 101. Everyone's favorite space adventurer, Tim Allen, with this great quick autograph there. Sign 1. And sign 2. Um, let's get these ones out of the way too. Two wrestling successes. Jerry the King Laura. Laura came back. That one was like a week. He's pretty fast. Same with Jack Swagger. They sent it to his real name out in Oklahoma City. And he signed two or two. Okay, we're rolling now. Any other? What should I do? Alright, I'm really gonna lie here. I'm gonna do all this. Yeah, 12 minutes. Alright. Let's get these basketball out of the way. Bill Leinard. He signed 52 gold. Um, oh, he did. He was a captain in the 1952 championship team. Okay. Yeah. And he averaged 5.8 points per game. Hmm. And that one. Heisman Trophy converted to basketball. Charlie Ward, which is a pitch black, can't see anything. It's on there, and the on both cards the ink ran a little. Everyone, yeah, everyone. Great signer, always. Robert Parrish signed three of three. NBA Hall of Famer, NBA fifty. Keith Askin signed four of four, and he's got the signature that's just the K A. I hate modern day signers that only do initials. Drives me freaking nuts. Next, NBA Hall of Famer and NBA 50. Bob Cousy, personalized. I actually had sent him a note asking him, because I think he stopped signing in this, doing public signings. And I have my NBA 50 picture and I need him on there because he is getting up there in age. I asked him if I could send it to him and what he would charge me and I never heard a note back or anything. And I'm definitely afraid to send that thing to just to him. I, I'm i only doing paid signings on that. Um, Anthony Peel, because how many I got? I have 50. It's a small mod. I probably have 18 of them on there. Yeah. As I stare at it. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Peeler signed 4 of 4. I don't know if anyone can see these because I haven't done this for so long. I can't really tell if my angle on my camera is showing up or not. All right, cool. Let me get those out of the way. That was good. I'm glad. Now I can get that piles off and figure out what the hell I'm going to do with them. All right, hope everyone's doing well. Sorry it's taking me so long. Maybe tomorrow I might do a baseball recap so I can start filing I started a new project thanks to Card Cutter who gave me the idea to stick all these things in. Then I've been sticking them in these special boxes that hold our card holders. And I decided to put them on the penny sleeves and start filing them up by year and card company. And I just started doing it. And I'm only maybe one monster box full. It's I got a few more I gotta do, but it's just taking me some time. All right, hope everyone's doing well. Let me tag this right at 15 minutes. Whoop, and uh, talk to you all later. 15 minutes right about.